Good morning guys. Um, today I would like to talk to you guys about sun gazing and grounding or earthing as it's also known. I actually woke up this morning feeling a little bit weak myself. Um, I have been training quite hard with the weights and still doing some, some running. I do like to push myself a little bit further each time. Obviously I don't recommend this to you guys if it's the first time you've tried this. But I'm always pushing forward and trying new things to see what works for myself. And I, I hope that I'm planting the seed for you guys to do the same. I know that a lot of you, um, if you save these links to all of these YouTube videos, they will be available to you for as long as you, you wish to have them. And if you ever lose them, I can just pop you over the link. But other people won't be able to see most of them online because it's restricted to people that I've sent the link to. Now, sun gazing... I've been doing for probably about four years and is dated back as far as ancient Egyptian times. Um, Grounding and Earthing, there's actually a great book by um, Clinton Ober, Martin Zucker and Stephen Sinatra. I definitely recommend you purchase this book. It is hugely beneficial. It talks about how our bodies contain protons, neutrons and electrons and these are easily available to us when we stand bare feet on grass or sand or, or in the ocean. Now, the majority of illness is caused by, by inflammation. And a lot of inflammation is caused by mucus. That's why this week during your fasting, I've set it out in certain ways with fruit, which is 90% water, then water and fruit juice, and then hard dry. Really goes into, um, I'm trying to think of the word for it, it escapes me right now, but there's a term for it where your, your cells start to eat themselves. And you're, you're an amazing, incredible, um, piece of machinery in that your body will only eat and use for energy the weakest cells first so what you're left at the end of these three days with is the strongest version of yourself as you know I've done hard dry fasting up to 14 days and I can only say that my level of connection to source and my my level of awareness was at such a point where I'd think something and the answer would come through so quickly this is something that's available to all of us and and this is why I believe the food system was introduced at three meals a day first thing in the morning afternoon and and of an evening to disconnect you from that so you're slightly more non-aware of things that you have to learn things and withhold information instead of being connected to this quantum field of information 24 hours a day by, by all means look into it a bit more i can send you some links by uh, sad guru who talks about exactly the same he only eats one meal a day at about 4 30 to 5 and he likes to eat a very large meal personally i eat two meals a day um, I fast 16 to 18 hour window, so I generally eat from 12 till 6 or 1 till 8, sometimes from 12 till 8, if I'm feeling a little bit like I, I want to go out and have a party or whatever, because we're here to have enjoyment, we're here to have fun, what we enjoy is expressed into our outer world as within, so without. So, yes, it's fasting is, is, is the most powerful healing modality I've ever come across. Um, on top of this, when you incorporate internal dialogue and you change up the programs and paradigms that you run, this is why this week I want you to do what I'm expressing for you to do because you might look at some of it and think, oh, that's, um, that's not what I want to do, I'll do it my way. But if you do it your way, you're staying in your, your original programs and paradigms where if you give permission and you accept what, what, I've, what I've laid out for you, it's like a timeline that I've anchored and where I've anchored this, where I'm talking to you about it, where my vibration's coming through my throat chakra and you're feeling the truth of my words, it's very easy for you to just go and slip from that train line to that train line. And it's very easy for you to understand it now. Now, a lot of people have said to me they never believe they could go seven days without food or water. And I say it's actually easier than what you think because I've created this timeline. And if you follow my guideline rules, it's just like me picking you up off of your railways and popping you on my ones. So it's a lot easier because you attach to my energy and you attach to the energy of the people that have done this project with me before. And in total, over the last three or four years, I say I've helped over a thousand people with fasting now. Um, I've done one-on-one -on -one coaching and guiding with over 500. So in total, including the internet videos and stuff, I'd say it's pushing over a thousand now quite easily. And I believe this momentum is going to continue to climb as people realize the benefits of fasting. This week and for the last 18 months, specifically since January, I've been playing around with urine therapy as well. If any of you are interested, I can send you a link um, giving you more details about this. But there is so much nutrition and vibrational resonance in your own urine when you know what parts to drink of it and when to drink it and how to drink it and what to use it for 
It's absolutely phenomenal. I, I, I mean, I've only really started taking to it the last month or so because I played around with it at the beginning of the year. And now I've really sort of pushed through and started creating programs around this and writing programs on it. And similar to what you're going through at the moment, in fact, very similar, but introducing people to urine therapy. So if this is something you'd like to go on towards, um, there is a urine therapy group with about five people already in it starting on the 15th of this month. If you guys want to jump in, the price of this course has gone up to £33. You guys can jump in the next one at 22 again if you wanted to or just give me a call. Obviously I do off offer a certain amount of free spaces as well. If, if the current climate is not suiting your pocket then by all means we can have a chat because I want this information to get out to as many people as possible because if you a little bit more details on me if you saw my life five years ago with the amount of drugs and the amount of alcohol and the amount of meat and i mean i was i was taking steroids i was taking cocaine i was taking ecstasy i was taking ketamine i was taking i smoked heroin i was taking i was eating two or three two chickens a day steaks cheese milk everything if you can imagine everything that i'm telling you are asking you not to do or or, or trying to promote now it's it's completely the opposite i've gone the polarity has switched bang the poles have changed and i'm now showing that although i looked healthy back then although i was in good shape and although my mental state was actually not that great i managed to get through it through the grace of god through i don't know how through 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 um internal dialogue and mental programs it's about telling myself how healthy i was and ultimately I was going for checkups and my health was good, which really leads me to believe and wants me to express to you that you can pretty much eat and do whatever you want. I don't eat meat because I don't like to harm any other animals. I'm, I'm here as a carer and a, a teacher to people to explain what I've gone through and how by looking for my highest good and my highest purpose and by doing it for the highest, greatest good of everyone around me, which is The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen P. Covey, which is another great book for you guys to read. My life is phenomenal now. It was phenomenal before, but I, I have the enjoyment. I, I like spending time with people. I'm never rushed. Whereas before, my mind was constantly looking for things to do. I actually look for people that I can spend awkward silences in because there's no awkward silences for me anymore. I know that when I sit with two or three people and there's no communication, I'm communicating them through through light, through energy, through sound, through 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 um, telepathy, through various other forms of. And we, you're, you're doing this on a very subconscious level with, without realizing because it hasn't been brought to your attention enough. And we need to spread that this attention com is coming through because I've been looking into aquakinesis, pyrokinesis, telekinesis, uh, telepathy, all of these things and they're all starting to, I'm starting to get breadcrumb trails and bridges of incidents to show me how these things work because now I can see energy, now I can see people's auras, now I can, now I'm fo 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 focusing on controlling and moving and, and manipulating the energy between me and certain products. And there's a guy in Fort Lauderdale in Miami who's actually moving things now. He, he can show how he can move wood, he can move anything. And the brain studies that they've done on him when he's connected shows that he goes down to a almost a delta brainwave. So we've got delta, theta, um, alpha, beta, gamma, and delta is the lowest. It's almost like you're dead or you're asleep. And then we go theta, which is generally what people get to when they meditate. Um, and this is where the subconscious is really accessible. This video is a bit deeper than quite a lot of them, but this is some of the things I go to in going to in my mentorship. Obviously, you guys are just doing a, a very brief introduction to fasting with me. But when he goes down into a theta or delta brainwave, he focuses all of his energy and tension onto this product or whatever it is he wants to move. And within a split second, he almost jumps to a gamma ray. Um, now what this does is every thought you have sends out a vibration. It's like when you was a kid and you'd read a magazine and a thought bubble would come out. That is a vibration that you're sending out. And this is how telepathy works. If I'm sitting next to someone and I've experienced this with several people, I can think something and they will write it down or I can think something. Or when you're having a conversation with someone and you finish their sentence, it's because they've thought it and you've picked up on their vibration. Now, if you can send out those vibrations at a theta wave, that's a very small vibration. If you send them at a gamma wave, it's boom. So you're sending out a vibration, bang. This guy's going down into delta. He's going down to nothing. Nothing's being sent out from his his lobes or any part of his body or his auric field and then boom he will send it out bang straight into a gamma and that's like that's what's moving in my opinion that's what i'm being shown and that's what i'm being guided towards when i put my attention and energy onto finding these things out it's very powerful you start to realize how when you want something if you think about it you've technically asked your guides yep go ahead 
place the breadcrumbs now and lead me to what I need to find out. Again, this is more of what I coach on on, on a one-on-one -on -one basis. But today it's, as I said, Sunday the nursing. I'm actually sitting here bare feet now. I've got the sun right here in front of me. I'm gonna I'm gonna switch the camera and show a little photo of what what I'm dealing with right now. But this is 12 o'clock in the afternoon here. What I advise for you guys to do is to start at first thing in the morning. The first 22 minutes when you get up, and the last 22 minutes before the sun goes down, the UV levels are at their absolute lowest. There's almost no UV levels for the first hour pretty similar but for the first 22 it's like none and then after that you've got a few so i'd say i'd suggest doing three minutes on your first day building up to five i can now go an hour in at 12 o'clock in the afternoon like we're at now but i wouldn't advise that it's um it's something you've been told not to do as a kid so you'll have an internal program that's set up a bit of a barrier for that it's, it's closed up your energy centers closed up your ideas and you're like oh fucking no, i could do that because that's not good for me but ultimately i'm telling you that staring into direct sunlight is one of the most powerful things you can do to get information it's light language you are pure light vibrating at a certain level of frequency and when you connect with the sun you become that pure light source yourself. This is why whenever I buy my 9.5 pH water, I take all the labels off of it and I stick it in the garden for roughly five days before I drink it. Um, this is because nature, and as you can hear the birds around me and the wind, this is roughly 432 megahertz. So that is absorbed into the water. The sunlight's then absorbed into water. It's had profound effects on the water you drink and profound effects on what it does internally to your body. Excuse me. So I've just been for my 45 minute walk bare feet. I also do some sun gazing while I'm doing it. I'm not really gonna show you too much. I'm gonna show you about 30 seconds of me doing it because how long do you need to stare at me staring at the sun in order to understand what I'm talking about? I'm sitting here bare feet and this is where at the end of this course, I'd like to run you through methods I've used to incorporate all of these sort of 10, 15 minute programs into one so that instead of spending an hour or an hour and a half doing all of them you can just go out first thing in the morning you've got no excuses bang 15 to 30 minutes your whole routine's done in one go now some of you might find that you want to take some of these processes and not do other ones i would advise to every now and then come back to them because when you change your perspective your perception or your when you change your view at looking at something ultimately that changes where your energy goes and it changes your whole reality you can change something very little in your reality, butterfly effect, boom, it has a big effect because it's something that you might have been withholding energy from that needed your attention and your energy. Um, I'm gonna keep this video to around 13 minutes. I might try and break it. No, no, this is staying out just for you guys, this one actually. So I will now show you how the sun is right now for me and I'll do a quick 30 minutes, 30 seconds, sorry, 30 minutes, 30 seconds. One of the things I like to imagine when I'm doing this as well is that I'm drawing light in through my third eye chakra or through my crown chakra and that when I'm breathing I'm taking it right down not only into my root chakra but I like to wiggle my toes and feel that light in my calves, feel it in my hamstrings and feel it in my quads, feel it in my glutes so it's really grounding that light into the earth. Right now we're, we're shifting a lot of dark energy. If you found this video, if you found me teaching you, you're probably a light worker so what we're doing is there is no one that's good or bad out there. Everyone's got dark and light within them and what we're doing at the moment is we're clearing out that dark collectively at the moment so the more light we anchor into the earth the more this light is in other people and the more they're dark we shine that light on their darkness and it's it gradually it makes them uncomfortable it makes them face their shadows and their demons so they have to they have to shine their own light on it and get rid of it because we've come out of a dark age and we're going into a light age things are going to change so much within the next six months to two years i mean i, I made a prediction three years ago that by 2026 the human race will only eat food for pleasure which is what we should eat food for because ultimately that pleasure and that gratitude we put into the food to come back to us there's no fucking nutrition in there there's no proteins fats and carbs this is, a, this is a box you've been put in or the box you have now left now you've been watching these videos um, it's actually your energy that comes back to you when you eat your food so i hope you've enjoyed this video lots of love namaste and i look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow